All right, gang, we're back with our in-gym Metcon for Monday, November 16th. We've got five rounds for time today, six power cleans, nine tuck-ups, and then 12 single leg slam ball. Uh, I'll show you guys what that new movement is here in just a moment. Let's talk about power cleans. Hip width on our stance, hands just a few inches outside the hips, using that hook grip again. So top two fingers over top of that thumb. If you'll tape that thumb up, it'll help you hold that grip. Remember to keep those arms long until we've jumped. You don't want to burn those arms out. Use those bigger leg and core muscles to get it up to your shoulder. So we're not getting rid of our power cleans that we were doing in strength, incorporating them into Metcons now. On that catch, shoulder width, get those knees out wide, stand all the way up at the top, and on the way down, keep this bar close to you. I'll even let it rub against my stomach sometimes on the way down. That just helps me control it down to the hip and down to the ground. If you feel confident on power cleans today, I am okay with you guys doing that tap and go. Just be sure that we're controlling it at the bottom, not bouncing and keeping a flat back. If you're not quite ready for that tap and go, drop each rep and then give yourself a moment to grab the bar, reset, and then go from there. After that, we've got nine tuck-ups. Being able to keep your hollow position in the bottom is that foundational piece. Feet not high off the ground, hands close to the ground as well. Pointing those toes, low back stays on the ground. Explode up to that balanced position. Hands should stay off the ground. Hands should also stay off of the legs. Last thing to check for here is can I hold this position and are my shoulders as high as my knees? Common flaw we see in this motion is knees come up, but shoulders don't come up and we never really find a true balance point. So you're sitting up tall where those knees almost contact with your chest. If you're not able to reach in, uh, some of those positions, then we'll go bent knee sit-ups instead on this workout today. Pulling your heels as close to your butt as you can because that's going to help you roll up and down or at least make it harder to roll up and down so that you can build the foundational pieces for that hollow body and for that tuck up. Last movement today. Breck, do you want to explain the last movement? You're coming for that ball. I see it. Single leg RDL or single leg RDL. Single leg slam ball. We'll start one knee high, ball overhead, throw, and then that heel is going to go back into an RDL. Try to keep that balance on the catch and go right back up into that next rep. If you come off balance, that's okay. Just be sure to hold here for a moment, slam, and then get back into that next one. You'll go six on one leg, six on the other leg. Stay lighter on those today. Focus on the balance piece. It's pure pandemonium in the garage now. Five rounds of that. Um, it is deload week, so this is one of those workouts you need to be able to walk away from. Also, I want you guys taking your time on those single leg slam balls today because balance is our primary focus there. Good luck, and we'll see you back uh, tomorrow for a longer Metcon.